Seattle cracking down on anti-vaxxers. It's just one of many states actually in this nation doing the same, refusing to allow students who don't have their immunizations up to date back to school after winter break. Unfortunately, by state law, we have to exclude them. They'll be excluded here. They would be excluded at any school district, and we certainly want to avoid that. Joining me now, Dr. Devi, Associate Professor of Medicine at NYU Langone Medical Center. All right, let's talk about this. This is a very difficult decision for the schools, um, and unfortunately, there is nothing they can do. This is Seattle law. Uh, the district posted a notice on December 20th informing parents of a decision they have to make. Vaccinate or your kids don't go back to school. Do they have enough time to safely administer all these vaccinations before they return to school on the 6th of January? Oh, there should be. Also, the school district is offering free immunization. So I think that takes out a lot of different uh, factors. Sometimes people can't get the time off work. They can't get a doctor's appointment. The costs are high, etc. So this takes care of that group of folks. Yeah. There's going to be more resistance, basically, from the folks who are more opposed to vaccines. So I think that's, that's kind of where, you know, it's tricky because the kids are the ones who are sort of caught in the middle depending That's on what true. the parents think versus what they think. And if they health. miss school, it's going to be considered an inexcused absence. So really the kids are the ones that are suffering here. Um, here is Seattle's vaccine law. Um, students must be in compliance with laws by January 8th. N if they're not in compliance with Washington's vaccine law, they can't return to school. And Seattle, as you mentioned, is hosting free immunizations. They've got three clinics over winter break to basically allow for these kids to come in and get their immunizations. Um, this bill that was recently passed, it basically removes the personal and, and philosophical options to exempt children from vaccinations. A lot of people would use religion as a reason. Um, does this violate any rights whatsoever? Does well, it seem a little unfair? It's aggressive, right? So I think the reason Seattle is taking such an aggressive stance is because Washington State had an outbreak earlier this year. So, of course, I mean, all of us value personal freedom. But in this case, whether you get vaccinated affects not only you, but the people right. around you. So with the vaccine, this is the measles vaccine, there's something called herd immunity or yeah. a shared group immunity. The idea is that if you get the vaccine, maybe one dose will give you 93% protection. So not complete protection, but a high yeah. chance. Two will give two doses will give you 97 percent protection. But if you're surrounded by people who've got the vaccine, right. then the the virus can't get a hold. So basically, you might have even more protection. And there are some folks who can't get the vaccine either because they're too young, because they're right. in too poor of health, or other reasons, and they need protection too. Now, the state of Washington, their recently passed bill, basically. Um, mandates measles, mumps, and rubella vaccines. But what about all the other vaccinations that we receive or give our babies since birth, the distemper and, and so on? I mean, a lot of these kids are 10 years old. That's 10 years of vaccinations, many of which have had none. Exactly. So that's true. So they're focusing on this because of the outbreak and because of the dangerous complications of those illnesses. But you're right. It would be worth looking at some of the other uh, viruses that we can get. Here in New York from. State, they passed a law. Basically, it went into effect in May or June of last spring. And that meant that all these parents that didn't vaccinate since birth had to then get all these vaccinations. And that is a concern for a lot of anti-vaxxers um, that say, oh, now I'm going to pump in 10 years worth of vaccinations in my children. Do you believe there should be a compromise? Because it, that is a lot. I mean, I spread them out. When, I, yeah. when my kids were young, but to get them all at once, that's that's a lot. I think it's reasonable to spread them out, but I think all we right. have to focus on the things that are most at we're most at risk for now. Okay. All right, Dr. Debbie, great to see you. Thank you very much, <laughs> and happy you. New Year to you.